Hi everyone, welcome to this Get Ready With Me video. Today I'm going to show you how to go from not feeling your best, perhaps not looking your natural best, to a look that's a bit more put together, taking care of some dryness, some redness you may have if you're sick or feeling under the weather, um, enhancing some of your features and just feeling and looking more polished and put together. Because sometimes even though you might be you know, not feeling your best, you've got places to go, things to do, people to see, and you really need to just pull yourself up by the bootstraps and go out there and face the world. So this is one of those days and I'm going to um, show you how to get that done. Now hydrating your skin is really important, especially when you're sick, because your skin tends to get dehydrated easily, you're going to um, perhaps have a few more spots than you normally would. So I'm going to actually layer on top of my um, skincare in the morning. I do already you know, have my moisturizer, my serums and things on there, but I want to layer on top of that with some kind of a moisturizing oil. So right now I'm using the Josie, Mar Josie Marin, I think it's called 100% Argan Oil, the original. And I'm just going to take that between the palms, or actually my fingertips, and just rub that and pat it over my skin. I'm actually going to do foundation last, because who knows, you might need to, you know, blur your nose or whatever towards the end, so I want to leave the foundation for the last step. And because of that, I can actually put on my oils right now and just let them sink in as I do the rest of my makeup. So if you want to have a quick look, the Josie Marin oil looks like this. I have the mini bottle, and um, there is a light version if you find this texture to be a little too heavy for you, but um, for my combination, easily dehydrate the skin. This has been great the past couple of days. I'm going to start with eye makeup and just do a very simple wash of shadow. Today I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Travel Palette, which I have. And um, I believe by the time you see this video, the review for this will be up already. And I'm mainly going to stick to two colors, this one right here and this one to the end. And they're both matte shades. So taking a shader brush, I'm going to pick up the lighter of the two colors. So this one right here that you see. And I'm just going to take that all over the eyelid. So pretty much from the lash line all the way just under the brow bone and doing no particular shape, just kind of applying it all over the eyelid, maybe extending it past the eye socket just ever so slightly. Just to give ourselves a little bit of color there. Next with the same shader brush, we're going to take the slightly darker, this has a warm tone to it actually, almost like a rich chocolate, a milk chocolate type of tone, um, a matte shadow again, and we're going to dip our brush into this just a bit and uh, pretty much go over from the base of the lash line, blending it and fading it out as we go up towards the eyebrow. Now this is really just to give a bit of color and definition to our eyes. I'm not going to do a heavy contour, anything super fancy, just because number one, you probably don't feel like doing makeup when you're, you know, sick and not feeling well, but two, um, sometimes your eyes can be a bit puffy when you're feeling sick or when you are sick actually. So I mean, you could do the contour that may help, but I just find it to be a bit too much work for me. Now just to give you a better look of what's going on, I'm going to move in slightly and taking the same dark chocolate color on the same brush. I'm going to go under the lash line just to give a bit of smokiness and uh, round off the uh, bottom part of the eye so it looks a bit more balanced. I always like to put just a bit of shadow over on the bottom or else I feel like it's very top heavy. So just smoking it out with your shader brush. I don't like using too many brushes. I mean, you can take the same brush and just clean it off on some tissue and go ahead with a different color. But since we are using the same color, or even um, colors in the same tonal family, I don't find it to be a big deal. I'll just work from the lighter shades towards the darker shades, um, just to keep the brush clean in that way. Now, like I said, when you're sick, your skin may not be looking its best. It could be dehydrated. You might have a bit more spots than usual, and definitely a bit more dryness. At least that's what I've been experiencing. So by now, our Josie Marin Argan Oil probably has you know, most, more or less sunken into our skin, or as much as it could. If you feel like your skin is still feeling a bit too greasy for your own liking, go ahead and take a blotting tissue and just blot off a bit of the shine. But now, I'm actually going to use a primer, and for two reasons. Number one, your skin can be looking a little bit shallow this time um, when you know, you're not feeling your best and whatnot, your skin tone tends to not be so great. So I'm actually using a purple primer. This one is from Makeup Forever, the HD range. Um, high definition primer in the shade number two, which is the mauve shade. And uh, this will help to brighten your skin, especially if it's looking a little sallow. So I'm taking some of that on the back of my hand here, 
I'm just applying it straight to my face. Um, also, if you are in a situation where you got a runny nose and you've been blowing your nose a lot, um, it's important to use a primer because this will hopefully help your foundation last a bit longer throughout all those, you know, tissue sessions and whatnot. So I find that this really does help um, if you are feeling sick, but you do have to put a little something on your face, especially foundation. Using a primer, this is a good time to start busting it out. Now this is also a good time to bust out a moisturizing foundation. Even if you have oily skin, pick something that's a little bit more moisturizing than what you normally would wear. Um, would definitely help your skin throughout the day. I've got here the Laneige Water Supreme Foundation that I used a couple days ago. That was pretty good in this combination, especially with the primer. So I'm going to use this one again. My color is... what is this? I believe it's number 13. I will look it up and put it as a little annotation or something just so you guys know my shade. And this one actually does have a bit of a satin finish. It's not too watery or glowy, but um, if you choose to use something else, I do recommend something like the MAC Face and Body, which gives a beautiful glow. And you might need that bit of glow this time um, when your skin is looking a little dull and again, it needs a little bit of radiance boost. Now I'm going to move on to the brows. The brows are really important, especially when you're doing a simpler type of makeup and uh, you don't have a lot of strong focus points or contouring. Eyebrows really help to pull the whole look together and can definitely make you look more awake. Right now I'm using an automatic brow pencil. This is the Dior Brow Styler, which only comes in a universal shade, but I really like how this works um, with my colored hair. So I went and picked this up again. I do prefer this over the Anastasia Dip Brow, which I will show in probably a different video, um, just how that works for me, and I have reviewed it, so if you are curious, I'll put the link to that down below. But this one, after going around the block, still feels most comfortable for me to use. I'm now going to go in with a little bit of liquid liner. This is the Dolly Wink um, liquid liner in black, uh, the old variation. They've repackaged it now. Now I'm just going to do a very mini kitten wing. This, can you call it that? Not like a cat wing. Cat wing. What's it called? Not like cat eyes, but like kitten eyes. You know what I mean? Just a small flick. I find that because I have um, a downturn eyes, that when I do a little bit of a cat eye, a mini flick, a kitten flick, whatever you want to call it, it does make my eyes look a bit more awake and enhanced. But this shape may not work for everyone, especially if you already have upturned eyes. So just do what you feel comfortable with. Alright, so now three things are going to happen. I'm going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara, which is the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express in Waterproof, and then pop on some liner between the lashes, which is going to be the Shumura Drawing Pencil. But lastly, most importantly, I'm going to pop on some lashes. Now this is not a step for everyone, um, false lashes, but I do wear it very often. And as long as you choose a pair that's pretty natural, I find that it can still be wearable for day to day. But I choose to wear false lashes as it really gives more impact to my eyes. And if you pick a more natural pair, it can still look more natural. Um, so the ones I have are from the brand Kiss and it is these tapered lash end lashes. Not in this particular style, this is a more flirtatious, like a fuller dramatic style, but the packaging looks like this. I don't have the packaging for the other one as I took them out of there, but as you recognize something like this, go to the drugstore and pick the ones um, with the right name which I will list up here. So those are the lashes I'm going to be wearing and I'll put those on right now. Alright, so we're almost done with the eyes. Now I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips, um, I believe it's called Custom Enhancing Liquid Metal Eyeliner Trio. And this is the one from the Nude Collection. This is kind of a champagne slash rose gold color. And I'm going to take that on its tiny little brush and just apply it to the inner tear duct 
going along the lower lash line. So some people like to use white eyeliner or nude liner to really brighten up their eyes. I like to use a bit of sparkle and shimmer. I find it looks really pretty as well. So get that on there and I'll blend it out with my finger just so slightly like this. Now lastly, we're just going to come back and finish up the skin and do some lips and we'll be done. So what I'm going to do is take a concealer, liquid concealer right here. This is the, I believe this is Candy Doll liquid concealer. Again, I think this is the older packaging. Not to worry, doesn't really matter. And just smooth it over any areas that need extra coverage, like under the eyes for example. And also the spot on my nose. Now for a little bit of blush, I'm going to use this one from the new Guerlain 2015 Spring Collection. And uh, this is the Meteorites Blush in Angelic Radiance. It's a blend of a couple colors, but you want to use a blush with a bit of a pearlescent sheen. And also something a little brighter, you know, like not crazy scarlet, but a little brighter of a pink or even the peach. Peach is a really great blush color. If you are feeling sick and you want to perk up your complexion, that's a great one to use. But I'm going to use this pink one as it kind of matches my sweater. That's all. You want to brush that more towards the apples of the cheeks to really bring a little pop of color to your face. Now is the final finishing touch to our face. I'm going to use the Guerlain Meteorites um, Compact Powder in number 2 Light. And taking a fan brush, dust that all over my face to set my makeup. But also give a tiny bit of illumination to my skin. This is something you're not going to be able to see on camera. I know that for certain. But um, in person, it does give just a slight soft focus radius to the skin. With the blend of colors right here. So. That's what I'm going to do, just sweep that all the way around the face. Now the very actual last step is to pop on some gloss. I prefer gloss because it gives you a bit of shine, um, not only to look a bit more hydrated, but also just give a more plump, illuminated appearance to your entire makeup. And because you're sick, uh, you want to make sure, hopefully, if you have access to that, grab a lip brush and put some gloss or lip color on the back of your hand instead of applying this directly to your lips um, as you don't want to spread any germs around for future contamination. So use a lip brush and apply some gloss to finish up. And that's it. That's all there is to this look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Perhaps picked up some tips and tricks along the way. If you are feeling under the weather or you've caught the flu or cold, I really hope that you feel better soon. Drink lots of fluids, bundle up, stay hydrated. And for all of you guys, the rest of you out there, stay away from the wet, keep warm, keep dry, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <sighs> I need to blow my nose. <laughs> oh.